On to India now, the Indian Space Research Organization is all set to launch its smallest commercial rocket satellite launch vehicle. In a few hours from now, the vehicle will leave Earth's surface to put two satellites in its orbit and mark India's presence in the small satellite launch market. The 34-meter small satellite launch vehicle, which is 10 meters shorter than ISRO's Polar satellite launch vehicle is capable of carrying payloads of up to 500 kilograms into 500 kilometer orbit. The SSLV will place in orbit the 145 kg Earth Observation 2 satellite and AzadSat. But what makes this launch more interesting is the fact that Azad Isat is designed by 750 girl students from government schools across the country. This marks the 75th anniversary of India's independence. The satellite has 75 different payloads, each weighing around 50 grams and conducting femto experiments. These payloads were built by girl students from rural regions across the country. The payloads are integrated by the student team of Space Kids India, an aerospace company. The firm says, and I quote, this is the first of its kind space mission with an all women concept and promotes the idea of encouraging women in science, technology, engineering and mathematics sector. The SSLV D1 will soar into the skies at 9.18 am IST. This will happen from the Satish Dhawan Space Center in the southeastern state of Andhra Pradesh. Now, the Indian space program is a success story like no other. Over the last 60 plus years, India has developed indigenous rockets and satellites all from scratch. And today, India is taking another leap by introducing a new rocket, the SSLV. So, what really is this new spacecraft? Vyond's correspondent Siddharth MP explains. So, 1, 0, plus 1, 0, India is one of the leading space powers in the world. With homegrown technologies, the nation has mastered the art of creating reliable and cost-effective rockets. They have reached Moon and Mars successfully besides placing numerous satellites in Earth's orbit. There are three rockets in the mainstay of India's space program. Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle GSLV and GSLV Mark III. The GSLV Mark III rocket is now being modified to take Indian astronauts to space. ISRO has also successfully placed over 340 foreign satellites of 36 countries in the space and in the process earning millions of dollars in revenue. But here's the thing. The global space economy is valued at nearly $470 billion. India's share in this is less than 2%. While India does have capability, there is much more that can be done in terms of commercial activities. And that's where the new SLV rocket comes in. Basically, we want to develop a rocket that can be built and operated by industries without having too much of complexity. The rockets, you know, they're, they're complex machines. So if you want to you know, make, make it uh, realize this hardware in industry and assemble it and test it and fly, it requires all the skills and expertise of a lot of people. So in the current scenario, if you want to develop such a thing, we looked at the rocket uh, in a way, it will be significantly simpler than the current uh, fleet of rockets. So SSLV is in that way much simpler rocket. And second aspect is manufacturing point of view, we can do it in you know, sm smaller industries. No, we don't need huge complex manufacturing setup to make that rocket. So let's now try to understand how the new spacecraft compares with its predecessor PSLV. SSLV stands for Small Satellite Launch Vehicle. It is India's smallest rocket and is barely 34 meters tall and 2 meters wide. It is low cost and can even be assembled in a week. Unlike PSLV, which takes around two months. This means the SSLV can be manufactured in large numbers and can be launched on demand. 
However, the much sleeker SSLV rocket can lift only 500 kilograms to low Earth orbits. Many are seeing this launch as a tribute to mark the 75th anniversary of independence. The rocket will also carry the 8 kilogram Azadi Sat, built by 750 students of Indian government schools, facilitated by Space Kids India. This rocket is aimed at customers who want to launch small satellites that weigh below 500 kgs. This means that the target audience is mostly the uh, academia, the startups and also some established firms that want to launch constellations of very small satellites. ISRO also believes that this is a rocket that, that is made in such a manner that it is so simple in engineering that uh, an Indian private industry can 100% make this rocket when it is outsourced to them. From Chennai, this is Siddharth MP, we on World is One.